Last week, I broke the internet when I found a fossilized whale skeleton at the bottom of a river in North Carolina. I found it on accident while looking for shark teeth and I had a few videos of me just extracting all the vertebrae pieces and all the bones I could find. A hundred million years ago, the entire east coast of the United States was an ocean. I had thousands of people asking me how it was possible that whale bones were in a freshwater river. Well, underneath this river is a layer of clay, and this clay used to be the old ocean sediment, and when things died, they got fossilized into that clay layer, and as this river cuts through, it sweeps away all that clay and leaves behind the pretty fossils. I have dozens more rib pieces and different bones from this whale, but here's all the vertebrae lined up. It took four hours of digging, but we found nine vertebrae, four ribs, and a bunch of other miscellaneous bones. And the coolest part of all of this was what we found inside the bones. Between the vertebral plates of this whale, you can find these weird looking patterns. These were caused by a worm parasite that when the whale died, fed on its bones. Or rather the jelly in between its backbones. You can see where it burrowed in and probably lived out its entire life feasting on this whale. Right between its vertebrae. Now that we got the spine, the last thing to do is to figure out what we do with it. Whatever the top comment says chooses what we do with this whale spine.